welcome back. This is Belinda with Belinda's Bobbles and welcome to DFW Fiber Fest Part 2. We're having a great little break here at On the Lambs booth. Wanted to take you around and show you a little bit of what she had here set up as well as just being able to sit at the couch, relax, talk, and have a great time. Okay, I like this. Please be patient with me. I'm from the 1900s. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I'm not using this. But look Ooh. at these yarns. These were all brand new to the shop. She hadn't even put them in the shop yet. <laughs> and I really love this fluffy, fluffy yarn here. It's similar to something I um, made a sweater from last year that only took me seven days to do that sweater. And she's got a sweater she made here. Look at this, how it stripes up. All right, let's say goodbye to Beetlejuice, take a look at a few more things, and there's Molly. Catch her on live on Twitch, and let's get going. All right, we're going to look at some more booths here. I love, love this sweater here. Take a look at those sleeves. Moonlit really came across with their vibe of just dark, sultry, beautiful. This was the first time I had noticed their yarns. I don't know if they had been here in the past or not, but these tones really caught my eye. Then you got Knitting Buddha. We're just going to kind of walk around and enjoy and take a look at some of the different um, booths. I want you to just kind of join me today as we kind of glance through, enjoy this time to visit, and see what we can see. And wouldn't you just want a deep dive into there? And some of the um, dyers were starting to just hang up their hanks like, like this as far as just loose. And it really gives a different perspective on the yarn taking a look at how it's dyed. Isn't this fun? Oh, that's soft. And very much a tie-dyed look over in here. We're so used to seeing it all wound up, but it's interesting to see it like this. I hope you have a coffee or a tea or something. As we just kind of take a look. Now look at this, it had yak. I don't see that very often, but it's interesting to find. I really do love that DFW Fiber Fest, there are just a ton of different vendors and a lot of different yarns, getting everyone's take. These rich reds, I really love those. I am. RMRs again was a, here again this year and she always shows up with the most beautiful colors that are just so I don't know where she gets all her inspiration but there there is just such a wide variety in her colors and they're just luxurious looking and soft and bright and just everything you could find and would want And I did love the sparkles. Chick that knits was here. And let's listen in on the conversation. Congratulations on completing your first yarn crawl. I so wanted to be there. Are you from Oklahoma? No, I'm here. But I mean, it's still just not that far of a drive. But the car broke down. Is the car back functioning? The car is back functioning. It's just not... I'm, my husband's still nervous about long trips right now. But. 
Okay, I'm just going to pop back and forth a little bit as you can see. Look at this tweed. Can you tell that I'm really getting into the tweed this winter? She had some great colors that were very soft and romantic, others that were sultry, just fun. What's your favorite? Leave a comment below and let me know anything that catches your eye. See what we can find next. Mm. Got some goat soaps here as well. And some of these beautiful yarns. And I love the octopus. Isn't that great? Everything from yarn to cloth. And some puzzles even. Since it's after lunch, you can tell it's getting a little bit more crowded. Okay, so the Friday Night Fibers have cocktail recipes actually on there. The Whimsical You, I love their um, little lamb and their yarn is always just so soft and cozy and you want to just wrap up in it. Look at these colors too. She's really gone for some brights this year too. Ooh, looky here. Bertie Parker Designs had a great um, item here that I loved. It's these little straps. Look at this. You've got your um, gauges on there and a measuring tape. What more could you want to add onto your stitch minder or onto your project bag? The sexy knitter, I couldn't even get close to her. Look at this. Her triangle bags are great. I have a Doctor Who one that I bought a couple of years ago and I love it. So let's go look at some of her project um, or stitch markers because we can get over to those. She has these little bags with all the themes and everything. I got a strawberry shortcake one um, last year, I think. Talking about stitch minders. This is Lemon Woods DFW Fiber Fest exclusive. And how's that for a show special? $12. Mm. All these candles and yarn. Now, this is all from Weatherford, Texas, which is not real far from here. If you have a chance, please do check out, because these are all Texas um, cattle, I believe, that these come from for the Texas Prairie. Gotta know where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now those would be great for some color work hats, for sure. What are you finding yourself into this winter? More so lace or easy knitting, color work? Ah, and here's some Barker wool. Dawn specializes in assigned pulling. No Dawn today, huh? Hello! <laughs> I looked over here and it was like I saw lollipops. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Cotton candy, so yeah, it, it works, it pulls. <laughs> yes, yes. Where are y'all located? 
northern Arkansas. Okay. We raise them, shear them, and then send it off to a mill in Illinois, okay. and, uh, where they process it into the yarn and the rolling And we hand dye it. Don't you just want to deep dive into all of these colors? Oh, look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? And she even has her own personal artwork. How amazing. Yes! <laughs> nice to see you actually here, not just <laughs> doing your vir vir virtual stuff at uh, with um, Heather <laughs> and on the lamp. <laughs> I am, <laughs> and I have a little bit of, you know, beachy breeze and clockwork in my in my stash already. It's too much. <laughs> well, no, it's not. It's it's an investment in our mental health. That is a great way to look at it. It's an investment. In our, that's what I keep telling my husband. Yep. <laughs> yep. I always say I'm oh. just collecting art, so you know. Kind of this is this is my retirement project. <laughs> You know, because when I retire, I probably won't be able to afford to buy the yarn that I want, and so I have to make sure I, I have to make sure I have enough yarn in case I live to ninety. <laughs> I like the way you can't tell from my voice how hyper I was on the day, can you? I was having such a blast. Now here we are at West Seventh. You will have seen them on yarn crawls. They are a Fort Worth yarn shop, and they're showing off here Hunter Sock, their own dyed yarns from the shop. Now, I just used some of their Surrey Silk in a project, the About Time Test Crochet Pattern uh, that should be coming out, I think, this week. It was done in some of their items. Now, how about this, the Palm Palm? Now, I can make my own um, tweed yarn this way, uh, huh? At any given time. Fair enough. <laughs> Otherwise, I can't tell anyone else where to find oh, you. <laughs> we get out of the way. So, on these, you've never seen the bags. They're all they're all got flat bottoms, okay. so they'll stand up on their own. You can fold this down, and it'll work. It'll work like a bucket, okay. and it'll set up on the counter. It'll set on the table. And you can work out of it just like it's a bucket. That's exactly what I want. I they all have pockets on the inside. No problem. Okay. They all have pockets on the inside. Okay. Um, you have the smalls. You have the mediums. You have the larges over there. And then you have the giants that are all in the single handle style. Okay. Hello. Uh, let me get the, get the labels in there. Okay. Let's what show we you the fun. Okay. Regular yarn. Blacklight reactive. nicely with this 8-bit doodle. Yeah. And yeah, so yarn from both of us. It'll light up. Now here's Lavender Loon out of Minnesota. I love that term micro diary. And we've got dyers that are here from California to Virginia, Minnesota, Texas. We're covering so much of the United States here just at this one yarn show. Oh, look at these. I definitely do need to do some more color work. And these would be great in it. Oh, they're so soft. Mm. 
a spinner? I am trying to be a drop spindle to start. Okay. So I've got my 3D printed drop spindle and I... We have a guild online that okay. has instructional videos every six weeks and there are several that are all spindles and that's two okay. months free. Wow. So, there you go. Thank you. I think she had told me that this was the first time that Ply had been out to a yarn festival. And I'm really glad she was there because I'm definitely going to take advantage of trying out the first two months and seeing where it goes from there. <laughs> See if I can't get my drop spindling up and running. You're not on video at all. Good. <laughs> Only in certain parts does it even look like anybody's here besides me. <laughs> like we have black lights just laying around for our glowy yarn. I mean, it's pretty without it, but it's very pretty with it. <laughs> Makes you want to go to a rave. Yeah. <laughs> it's either that or you have to walk around with a black light so that people can see how cool your hat is. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are at the Bashful Armadillo. This is a Texas dyer, Texas themed inspired yarns for the most part and she has something new that I'm looking for to see what I can find. It's sea cell yarn. Now, if you're not familiar with it, it's actually a fiber that is sustainable and it's made from seaweed. And where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I love these other things too, but I really want to see the sea cell. Hmm. I think I see it. I think I see it. Here we go. Oh, so it is. It's going fast. Okay. Have you been following the post? I have. Okay, so you know that it's moisture wicking and breathable, and, and yeah. all of that, and that it has and all the minerals and, and nutrients and yeah, seaweed. It has a beautiful drape. It does. It has a a sheen to it, similar to silk. And it is, but it has a, this durable, like cotton. Put your arm out, and it will actually cool your skin. Oh. Can you feel it? <laughs> I need this at work every day. <laughs> uh, uh, I've got. A, I had one woman come, and she says, "I'm just going to get one skein. I'm just going to make a cowl." And, so I'll be cool. <laughs> That's something you don't hear often. Well, it it's like when I went to Alaska, and my sister told me it's. It, I'm ex she was excited. It was going to warm up enough to snow. <laughs> <laughs> but it also has a memory for a plant fiber. I mean, look at that. It bounces right back. So if you want something that's fitted, that's not going to continue to grow in yeah. and, and right. get cotton, like Which cotton, cotton does, does, where, you know, you're yeah. showing way too much by the end of the day. Right, right. <laughs> it's just kind of sagging here and there. This is not going to be sagging. It's going to retain that shape. And okay. Yeah, and then this is this is the pole worth with the sea cell. Okay. So, so my, I was cur curious as far as now the pole worth is going to be a woolly wool, right? Pole worth is a woolly wool, okay. and it can be uh, kind of uh, scratchy. And his grandfather is brown. All right. We have emails. Okay. So I'm being bad again. <laughs> Jerry here is a transplant from Michigan and she has found a way of combining several of her loves from the, doing the turning. She uses a scroll saw to um, take hand-drawn designs and put them into her woodwork. Look at these spindles. Aren't they gorgeous? Wanderluck Fibers is one that we will have seen before in the smaller um, shows and on yarn crawls. But her, her yarns, are you just want to hold them and pet them and love them and so silky.
Look at this fingering, sport, DK, a little bit of everything. And now let's look at some fiber. You can go on back to the fiber, Tori, from 12.30 to 2. We'll be in the back near the restroom swapping stick oh. fibers. Look at those woven claws. Talk about having a little bit of everything. And now we're at Erin Lane Bags. Look at these colors this year that she's doing. It looks almost like a um, stained glass window. And I do love Erin um, Lane Bags. They're out of Tennessee, I believe. Bill's the one that turned me on to their um, bags a few years ago. And this is uh, one place that he uh, has to hit whenever he goes to a yarn somewhere. shop Somebody or a yarn right show. And of course, they're talking about a bucket of bags that are discount. These are the Texas show bags. It says Dallas, I'll forgive them for that since I am Fort Worth. A little bit of a rivalry there. And sale bags. What do you think? Which one should I get? I mean, they're half price. Doesn't matter that I have all these yarn bags already, project bags. I need more, right? Hmm, what you think? Okay, so I did get a project bag or two, and I will show you everything that I picked up from both the DFW Fiber Fest and also the Shenandoah Valley Fiber Fest in my next um, episode. I'm just trying to get these videos out first, and then we're gonna go through and look at what came home with me. These woven bags are absolutely gorgeous designer I mean look at the high end that these are aren't they beautiful okay 316 die studio they had these um, flower or bloom printed socks they're saying they're eco dyed and I think they even had a kit for you to be able to do it yourself all right all you spinners out there does that look like candy to you I mean she has such vibrant colors and then she also has some muted ones all right, Destination Yarns always comes through with just some uniquely themed yarns. I found them probably about seven or eight years ago the first time, and I got some yarn that was, I think it was after a um, campfire. May have looked a little bit about like their show colorway there. She has themes going on from Northern Lights, which of course we didn't get to see. And the Torch of Poets, I believe, is her newest one. Do you see your favorite poet here? And I love how she had some different quotes from the different poets also that inspired her. I don't know about you, but whenever I'm looking at some yarns and everything, it makes me wonder what the dyer had in mind. I did enjoy the total eclipse this year, so I did feel a little bit there. And mustache yarn. Have you ever seen them before? They are such great self-striping yarns. And I definitely felt like a kid in the candy store here. And that was really good information right there. I'm gonna be pausing it to look at it further. But look at all these you can see how they all make up into um, socks. And they had these that were already knit up as far as just some um, samples and things like that. And they were selling them. I can't remember how much it was for, but they were um, cranked out on a um, knitting machine. 
And so I picked up some of that to be able to practice doing some afterthought heels. I just wanted to sand there and spin around. So I hope you don't get dizzy, but let's take a quick spin through all of the striping goodness. And then I found a couple of Doctor Who ones there. Bead Biz always sets up. Um, she's got a little booth over in the corner, and it's got all these beads. So if you want to add a little bit of glitz or glamour to it, your knitting or crochet, she definitely has the seed beads for it. And a few other things as well. And of course, who cannot follow someone whenever they have a tail on them? <laughs> All right, Robin's Promise is a one of the um, dyers that was actually not only here, but I also saw her at Shenandoah Valley Fiber Festival the very next weekend, and she just announced, I believe, that they're going to cake a palooza. So that was something that was not even thought of when I talked to her in North and Virginia that's where I was huh? she's out of Williamsburg Virginia and this here just really did speak to me of Williamsburg blue from the pottery there but then you go in and she has a little bit of everything I love the muted colors here and all the grays and blues. Hi, how are you? You look like you are having fun. But I am, and I was enjoying the, the color palettes. In Virginia, while I happen to be going back home. Even yeah, ones that look like I Easter know. eggs. So, and this is, is the Okay. Oh, cool. I will ask her. I love Vix Knits um, stitch markers. They're very smooth. They've got coatings on them and everything, so they just kind of glide. I got this one last year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so were you kung fu fighting? <laughs> Not so far. Something I needed to look at and I didn't I was Super Sport. I should have uh, looked to see I, if what was different and why was it super. Past, it Plush I get. Thing. Yeah, well. Mm. Um, so is there anything has, that you've seen today that really stands out she, to you? I'm trying to think which cotton it is that she Please has, drop a um, comment down below. I well, really I did, appreciate y'all coming with me I on this ride, but um, talk to me some. Tell me a little bit of what you see. <laughs> there you go, Bill, Hawaii. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to end part two here with Geektastic Fibers, and what a place to end. I love their self-striping. Last year, I got, let's see the fish there. That is from their I Smell Children yarn, and it's just so much fun. And right now, though, I am looking for something last specific. Year. They have orphan yarns that are there for adoption. You know, so that's their sale yarns. I need to find them. But they also had blind dates. This was such a good idea. Look at this. They had a book, yarn. An amazing idea. And there's the orphan skeins. Yay! I'm starting to see more of the um, tweed yeah. that is, oh, and I love fun? it. I this do. Is a good one. I just, I want to go to a rave. Right? And I'm like, <laughs> people would walk in, they're going, okay, Grandma. Ooh, I think I found my strictly socks. All right, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on part three.